guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode of No One But You. In the last part, we met a girl. Her name was Megumi. And, uh, I watched back the last part, just for integrity purposes, because I was sort of losing my mind there at the towards the end. No, she was not wearing dog ears when we met her. And... Hideaki just decided to ignore that fact. I don't know if it was just like a visual thing that he was just pretending that she was like, a, I guess, a childhood dog or something. I don't know. But she has used her feminine wiles to see if she can get us into the student council. This is also anime protagonist trope 1137. It uh, totally means that we have to join either at least one club that will lead us down the path to love. <laughs> so, Wagumi, from what I guess, unless there's another pink haired girl, is the one that I'm supposed to go after because of, uh, of the donation of this game. So, I guess we're gonna see a whole lot more her, which is gonna be great! But anyway, that girl sure is something. I managed to escape in one piece this time, but something tells me I'm going to be hearing a lot more from her in the future. On my way home, I decided to take the long way around, so I could pass by the bridge again. Oh, is uh... What's her name? Chinatsu or something like that? Gosh, I've already forgotten her name. Yeah, Misaki. <laughs> that, that I can remember. Uh... But yeah. As I walked along the road, I noticed the same girl from this morning, standing at the same spot. Oh, it's her. Her name was... Chinatsu, right? Do I talk? Oh, should I talk to her or leave? Huh. Yo, I kind of want to be a butt. Because, like, this is, this is, I'm assuming that she is, like, the main childhood friend that I had that I made all types of crazy promises to. You know, like, it would seem like it's a good idea to talk to her if I was, like, wanting to go down her pathway, but I don't know if I particularly want to. Like I said, I'm, I have a goal in mind because this was, uh, this game was donated to me. Uh, the, she told me who I have to go after in my first playthrough. So, I guess it's douchebag time? Captain Douchebag, here we go, we're gonna hit that leave button. Perhaps I shouldn't. Chinatsu seems to be deep in thought. I shouldn't disturb her. I turn around and walked away. Hmm. Hope I didn't make the wrong choice there. As night fell, I gradually made my way home. Mom, I'm home. Welcome home, Hidi. How was school? I couldn't tell you. I didn't have any classes today. I did meet some... Interesting characters, though, so it wasn't a complete waste. You made friends already? That's wonderful! Of course. Did you expect any less? I'm not sure if I'd say they were really friends just yet. But if believing, uh, believing that makes Mom happy, then so be it. Anyway, what's for dinner? I made some fried fish. I hope you're hungry. Sounds good to me. It may not be my favorite, but I'm not stupid enough to bite the hand that feeds me. My mother and I ate dinner together and the rest of the night passed by peacefully. I changed my clothes and sat down on my bed, searching for some way to kill time before bed. Hmm. Should I play a video game? Hmm. No, forget it. After that weird, after the weird day I've had, all I need is a good night's sleep. I'm gonna wake up again. The boy walked into the river with gentle steps. A cold sensation rushed throughout his whole body. Inside the deep, cold river he went, as it covered him up to his head, drowning, slowly sinking into the darkness. Alright, so I'm going to presume that Hideaki's uh, accident may have something to do with the river. I don't think he would just go in there by himself. I think that he was going to save. Oh my god, she's at my house! She's at my house! Ah! <laughs> 
What? Ah! <laughs> Why is she at my house? She's at my house, guys. She's at my house. Okay. All right, calm down. <clears throat> All right. All right. Good morning, Aki. Already? I haven't even started monologuing yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love when games are self-aware. Wait, that's not the problem here. How does Megumi know where I live? G good morning, Megumi-san. I wasn't expecting to see you so early. Do you live nearby? I live in the apartment complex a little bit further down the road. Oh, there's an apartment building down there. Yep. Gosh, every word Megumi said is filled with excitement. You sure seem energetic this morning. I'm just ready for an exciting day, that's all. You don't say. La 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 da 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 Wow, excited and tone deaf are not a good combination. On the other hand, it's kind of adorable. <laughs> hey, what are you laughing at? Uh, I just remembered that joke again. You and your jokes. If they're so funny, why don't you share them with me? I'd rather not. Ah, you're no fun. At least I'm not a stalker, like another certain someone. Though, Chinatsu might say otherwise. Forget it. Let's just hurry up and get to school. The class rep shouldn't be late, you know? Oh, shoot, you're right. Let's go. She knows where I live. This is getting weird. This is weird, guys. I don't know if I like this. <laughs> After being dragged all the way to school, I follow Megumi into our classroom. As we entered, however, I could clearly hear two people arguing. Good morning, everyone! Despite the tense atmosphere, Megumi greeted, greeted the class, completely unaware of her own disastrous timing. Huh. Without saying another word, the brunette girl stormed off. I wonder what that was about. Follow her, stay in class. I ain't going near that. The, she, she's probably the Sundare. She's the one that's like super, super like aggressive and all that type of stuff. Um, I kind of want to know what she was mad about though. But who was she mad at? Like just some random person? I have a feeling Megumi will probably not want me like leaving class. I'm going to stay in class. No, I'm sure it's nothing. I should just stay in class. Hmm, I wonder what's up with Yui. Okay, now she gets an easy fucking name to say. Okay. <laughs> the brunette girl who just stormed off? Yeah, that was Yui Komatsu. She's always like that. She usually just skips class, as you, you've just seen. I see. Anyway, forget about that. Come sit next to me. The seat's empty here. Is it by the window? It better be God by the God damn it by the window. Better be by the window. Mm. I enjoy my anime protagonist by the window, please. There goes Hachiko again. Is Megumi that chummy with everyone? Or was my love at first sight theory not so crazy after all? Hmm. No, 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 no. Stop that, Hida Hideaki. You barely know this girl. Change the subject before you accidentally propose. So, so you're, her name is Yui, huh? She seems like an interesting person. That's just how Yui is. Ryo enjoys making her mad. Ryo? That guy over there with the annoying smile? Huh. I wasn't expecting Megumi to say something negative about the guy. Maybe she isn't she isn't nice to everybody after all. Either that or this guy is a real piece of work. Wow, he kind of looks like me. <laughs> Anime protagonist. Yo, is this guy going to be like my best bro? He's going to be my like fist bump bro? Or is he going to be my rival? Ooh, which one is he going to be? Which one is he going to be, guys? Hey. New kid? Ugh, annoying smile guy was calling me. Should I ignore him? Hello? Go away, go away, go away! Can you hear me? This guy doesn't know when to give up, does he? Guess I have no choice. Yes? <laughs> Let's be friends! Uh, what? Me and you, 
Friends, what do you say? I ignored the guy, and he wants to be my friend? This guy seems way too pushy, or maybe just desperate. You don't even know who I am. Well, you seem like the kind of guy who knows his way around the ladies. I mean, that is the oh, this is only your second day here, and you've already tamed Megumi. Excuse me? No, I meant that in a good way. How could I possibly interpret that, what you said, as a good thing? Uh-oh, this could be trouble. He's already chased off Yui. I don't want Megumi to run off too. I better change the direction of this conversation before the two <laughs> get their claws out. S so, you say you want to be my friend because I know my way around the ladies, but weren't you getting along with that girl Yui just a minute ago? If you're called getting smacked on your head getting along, then sure. Smacked on the head? What could you have said to her to get her that mad? Not that I could... <laughs> Not, not that I could guess, given how quickly he pissed off Hachi. Nothing, really. Yui actually transferred here last week, but every time I talk to her, she seems to get mad. Maybe you shouldn't say anything to upset her. I didn't say anything this time. Well, Megumi said you enjoy pissing her off. And I get, that, I get the distinct feeling that everything this guy says pisses someone off. What? Megumi, did you really say that? Isn't it true? No, I don't enjoy doing that. I'm not a jerk, you know. She just doesn't like anything I say. Fancy that. I don't believe you. You must have done something. Nothing, I swear! Though, come to think of it, maybe she's still mad about what I did on her first day here. Megumi shot a deadly gare at Ryo. Oh, gosh. I, it's, I don't think this guy's gonna be, he's gonna be kind of like my best friend, I have a feeling. Somehow. <laughs> Sheesh, what the heck did you do? Well, it was like this. Oh, and now I don't get to know what, what happened? Or are we doing flashback? Everyone, this is the new student I mentioned earlier, Yui Kamatsu. Please get along. As the teacher introduced Yui, the entire class remained silent. Yui didn't say a word, she just stood there, enduring the stares of the entire class. Well, look at that hair! Someone, get the fire extinguisher! No, call the fire brigade! Remember, duck and cover, stay low to the ground, and try not to breathe! <laughs> I mean, okay! Uh, yeah. Yeah, lots of ellipses. Hmm. Nobody dared to laugh with Ryo or at the ad, or add any comments of their own. Ryo nervously looked around the class for approval, but no matter which way he turned, nobody made a sound. G get, get it? Because fire is, uh, uh. Hmm. Yui's glare was directed straight at Ryo. It was as if she was burning a small hole through his forehead with her eyes. No, I don't get it. Please enlighten me. N no, I, it was nothing. I was just joking. Oh, it was just a joke, sorry. A joke, huh? So you think you're funny? No, I was just, you know, breaking the ice. You think you're so funny, don't you? Yui slowly started walking towards Ryo. No, I don't think that, I swear. Don't lie to me, joker boy. Yeah, she's totally the Sundare. She is so the Sundare in this, in this, <laughs> in this thing. Anyone, please. Everyone looked away, including the teacher. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm not getting fucking involved in that. Nope, nope. I'm just gonna write two plus two equals five on the board. <laughs> That'll get them laughing. Everyone, <laughs> yeah. I'll show you what's funny, you little... And then she beats the shit out of him. <laughs> what the heck happened after that? It's better you don't know. No kidding. I can still see the fear in his eyes. I'll make sure not to make fun of Yui's hair color then. Good idea. Just as we finished talking, our teacher entered the classroom. We better head to our seats now. Yeah, you're right. We both walked to our seats and class started momentarily.
As school ended for the day, I approached the cutoff point of the two distinct routes I can take home. There are likely other routes I could take, but so far I found just the two, across the bridge and through the alley, or past Megumi's apartment block. Ah, decisions, decisions. Hmm. I guess I'll go by the bridge, since I didn't get a chance this morning. Okay, I'm going to be forced into a conversation with Chinatsu now. We're going to find out. We're going to know. Oh, she's not there. Hmm. This is a really nice view. I can see why Chinatsu likes this place. As I approached the bridge, I could hear the soothing sounds of the river ahead. And then, once again, I saw her. Hey, Misaki-san. Oh, we're just, we're just going to straight up talk to her this time. The girl looked at me, puzzled. Why would you call me that? Just call me Chinatsu. Um, okay then. Chinatsu sure was blunt about that. You got here quickly. School only just ended. Today, I just wanted to rest and look at the scenery. It's relaxing to stare into the sun, right? Oh, right, huh? Chinatsu simply looked out at the sky and focused on the city beyond the horizon. Maybe I should sit there and relax too. The last couple of days have been pretty eventful, so I should chill out while I can. Mind if I stay here a while? No, not at all. Janasu smiled and moved over a little. As she, start, uh, yeah, as she stared into the sunset, I allowed my mind to go blank. You know what? We're just going to let this scenery play out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Stay frosty.